quite start to see why this one, how much of the case is starting with there need to be like a third replay? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. absolutely. We were a little sluggish tonight to start the game, and we weren't trying to be. Um, you know, you're always trying to have a good start, and especially home ice. Um, but whatever reason, we a little bit sluggish in the first period, and second and third got a lot better. But um, yeah, you never want to give a, give up on while you're on the power play. For example, I mean, that's just you know that's shouldn't happen. No, it's a new season. Obviously, you know they're they're an opponent that we we're gonna need to beat. You know that's as simple as that. But it's a new hockey season, and um, yeah. What was that conversation like? Did you think of it? They give him five minutes and game for interference. Looked to me like Kolasar had the puck and it was a, about as clean of a hit as you can make them, but it is what it is, you know. Um, we can't control the refs and, you know, they make the judgment and that's that. I'm not allowed to say much more. Thanks. Yeah, I think for us, it just starts from the back end. Um, we, at the beginning of the game, um, especially myself, just getting beat to every puck in the D zone. And um, when that happens, you tire yourself out and um, you're not working to get it in, into the offensive zone and create chances for ourselves. So um, when we're not good defensively, I think it shows on the offensive side of the game. But um, tonight, just thought uh, thought we were slow off the get-go. And then um, as a back end, kind of picked it up in the third. But um, that's how we need to start every night. What was it like? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously we've gone through uh, situations like this in the beginning of the season already, and even last year. So, um, as a as a decor, uh, having one guy go down, it's just about managing shift lengths, um, trying to keep them short, and uh, making sure that everybody's fresh when they get out there and not uh, not too tired. But um, we have uh, a lot of good guys on the back end, so I know the endurance wise, we can uh, definitely pick up the the slack for one guy unfortunately leaving us. Yeah, I think um, to go back to the first question, I think uh, we started creating more in the third period, but um, that just goes back to the fact we need to start the game like that. Um, and like I said, it all starts from the back end, just us being able to get pucks to the forwards and not wasting all our energy in the D zone um, so we can have that energy to, to buzz around the O zone and create those chances. So, um, yeah, for us, it all started in the D zone tonight, I think. Has this become a sharp edge rivalry in the last few weeks? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, we – no doubt we had the playoff series with them and stuff and we wanted the one tonight but um, we're going to have countless other chances to get these guys and um, yeah it's unfortunate tonight but uh, at the end of the day it's another learning curve for us as a team and um, we move on. Is there an overall level of concern with the start of the season or is it a team-wide trend that early on they go they take care of business? Yeah I, there's no panic at all um, obviously we're What's that, like five or six games in? So uh, we could win the the next uh, 74, 70, 75 there. So um, obviously it's probably not going to happen. But at the end of the day, um, you can think like that. But um, slow starts happen, and uh, we just have to build off it as a team. And um, it just builds character. And like I said, we move on and um, learn from our mistakes. But uh, we'll find a group here. Do you have much more room on the side of the net with Yeah, I mean, it's different um, even early on, um, feeling out the games from uh, just the schedule that we had last year, playing every other day for basically two, three months straight. So um, it is nice to have that extra day in there. We do have some banged up bodies, but at the same time, um, we still have to find ways to win. So, yeah. Do you still hear any of the team like taunts at times from the front group as they just watch it all pile up and then all that steam comes out? Yeah, um, not Com's fault at all. That's uh, that's on me. Um, didn't 
just I didn't give us enough space. I just, uh, if you watch the replay, I just started moving down. Um, don't know why. Just And then when he tapped it to me, I gave myself no separation from uh, from their um, forward in the zone and tried to make a hope play, and obviously it ended up in the back of our net. So um, Tom's doing his job there. I have to create space for us in the power play, and that starts with me staying up high um, when I need to. And in that scenario, I was just drifting down too low, and um, that's how they got the turnover. Yeah, terrible start. Standing around. That that's what it looked like. We weren't we weren't prepared to, to start the game on time. I think it took us you know, they get two we waste two power plays on a couple good individual ep- efforts where they grab us and, and hook us and but we we wasted those power plays because we weren't ready to start, you know, just like our five on five game. And then I would say the, that probably lasted for 13, 12, 13, 14 minutes in there. And then I started to have us coming along a little bit in the last part of the of the period. And you know what? Second and third, I didn't love them, but they weren't bad. But you dig yourself a hole against a good team, down to nothing, and then you scratch and clawing all, all night trying to get back to back to even. Um, I, I got, I thought, um, interference call because their guy doesn't touch the puck. And if he does, then I got it as a, as a clean check, just from my view on it, from the replays I looked at and they saw differently. So. Someone not on the top. Um, well, short time frame, and I like the way our team played in a few of those games, and at times, even tonight, consistency's got to get better to the whole group, and then we'll see what happens. I think too early to tell yet with some of the guys that we have playing and um, trying to grow with their team, but we'll see. I mean, there there's a there's a level of concern. I don't know how – I want to see our team play for longer longer like we did against Tampa. And then, you know, when we're doing everything right and we're working and we're ready to start games, we're putting in a full 60 the way we need to, then it's easier to evaluate. Right now, it's, it's, it's tough because we're two in and out of our game. I think you just addressed it, but in the, the overall team, how much concern is there about the level of these team play, whether it's just – well, I mean, we compete. You're the competitor, and you want to win every night. So it's it's. I mean, we're sort of stumbling and bumbling along right now. So there's a there is a level of concern. It's not like we're just going out. Oh, we didn't play good tonight, and we're moving on to the next. You know, there's been a tremendous amount of work going in with from our guys to try and get better and. Yeah, I didn't like I didn't like the way we came out tonight. You know, that was the biggest thing. Like catch up hockey's losing hockey and you know, to me this is a big game because part of what we talked about today was that if if we win tonight's game, if we go out and play the right way, repeat the performance or better the performance that we had in Tampa and we're able to get to five hundred, that happens tonight. Now we can start ticking games above five hundred if we do our job. And if you lose, you drop two games back, and now you got to work. I don't know. We'll see how long it takes us to get back. Could be seven days. Could be ten days. Could be a month. I don't know. You know. So, you you got to take opportunities like that. And to me, that was a big game tonight. You know, it's against a team that we don't have a lot of love for. Put us out of the playoffs last year, and then we started poorly. So there is. I can't say there's no level of concern. Yeah. 
No. No. Not based on what I saw last season or even rookie camp or training camp. Um, credit to Bo. Um, like, I know his history, right? Like, I've watched him play. I've seen what he's done. But I also know a lot of young players come in and become – it's more difficult than what you think it's going to be. And um, – but Bo's made the adjustments. He's put in the work, and, and his style fits the pro style. He's a physical guy, competitive guy, confident guy, and it shows. He was fantastic tonight. That's why he played 26 minutes. It's hard to keep him off the ice when he's playing like that, and he seems to be getting and, – and really, it was almost like a switch for me. Day one of regular season. You know, like he, he he had a slow camp, didn't love him in exhibition. His game seems confident but pretty casual, not making a huge impact. We had some conversations, Prater and him, me and him, and he snapped out of it right away, you know, and, and good example for for our young guys of what, you know, you got to push yourself out of your comfort zone. You can't play in your comfort zone. Our comfort zone right now is our game's too slow. You know, as a whole, it's got to pick up. No, not for me. You know, it's about us right now, not necessarily our opponent, and making sure we're doing everything we have to do to be successful. And um, you know, it just seems like we're not putting the whole package together right now. I mean, there's some positives to our game, like the penalty kill was good again. Kemp's was pretty good. The second period made some big saves. I mean, th there's some things that, that I liked, you know. It's just it's too sporadic. Did you address the Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, we don't what what are our options? Like I like some of the things Dermy did and I and I I I mean, we're we're playing the best lineup we and and that we feel is going to win tonight with the options that we have. You know that that's every night, um, regardless of people's stature or where you know where they came from or what they're doing. We're evaluating them on what we see every day, and and um, so we lose Jack. That's an unfortunate, you know. But Dermy's going out and trying to do everything he can do to make a positive impact in the game. He doesn't, he doesn't, part of the reason he doesn't play much is same as the reason some of our kids didn't play much because we're playing catch up hockey. So you're trying to go with the guys that are going to be able to score and get you back in it. You know, I, I trust Darren Helm and, and some of the things he does for us, but he's not a big scorer. So I'm trying to get three lines going that can um, try to put the puck in the back of the neck as we're fighting back from a, from a, um, a two-goal deficit. It's probably different ice time for all of our guys if we come out and start on time. One more for Jake. Is that really not a task for that guy? Is it just giving him the extra coach? What do you need from your specific team to get this guy going? Well, we're going to keep working. Um, specifically, we, we do it every day. Look at the things we didn't like in the game, break it down, give them certain areas where we certainly have to be better. We'll stress the things that we feel are really important as a group. Um, show them some good, some of the things that we did well, some of the things that can help us win hockey games. We'll talk about our start again, and you don't have a lot of time to get ready. We'll break this one down, and by tomorrow afternoon, we got to move on to St. Louis and, and start getting ready for that. So, okay, thank you, Jake. Yep, thanks.